I was wondering if you just highlight two, one in terms of what Will Bruin brings to, to this team when it's under attack and then you're able to hit him with an outlet pass that can kind of calm the team down. And obviously, uh, Steph and Cleveland's ability to show maturity uh, in the line of fire towards the end of the game there. Sure. Will did a good job holding up play in, in different moments, Maz, for sure. But, you know, his goal scoring is what we rely on him for. I thought our actual play out of the back in the first half was some of the best that it's been all year. You know, I think there was a lot of people to go around there for credit on that, but I thought we had good spells of possession. So it wasn't just relying on Will to be a big target and fighting two guys to give us possession. <clears throat> so I thought that was the case there. And then as far as Stephen Cleveland was concerned, that was a tremendous performance. I don't know what it looked like to you guys on TV, but that was an exciting game. I mean, they had some chances. We came up big with some defending, some good goalkeeping, uh, you know, grit, determination. We had our chances at the other end, but certainly Will and Cleveland had big parts in this game. And it's, you know, just reward for those two guys to keep working, keep grinding. And when they get their opportunity, they can show what, they, what they're capable of. Next question, we'll go over to Nico Moreno. Nico, go ahead. Uh, uh, Coach, uh, two questions. One, uh, you know, what's the overall feeling for you? I mean, it's a tough game, a lot of rotation, but you did have a lot of chances. So I kind of wanted to get your take on the, the draw overall. And uh, second, uh, you end up pulling uh, Albert Rusnak uh, out of the midfield. You add Rowe after Soko, knew who comes out. What was the top process on that? And did that work the way you wanted it? Thank you. Well, a draw is like a loss, Nico. You've heard me say that many times before. Um, as far as Albert is concerned, there was nothing there with Albert. It's just the way the game manifested itself. It was a little bit of a surprise because knew who we thought he could gut it out, a little tightness in his adductor, um, switching to, you know, back line of five, you know, was a little, you know, risky, but, you know, I thought we still created some chances um, you know, in transition moments. So, you know, that's, that's the reason for it. Thank you. Okay. Jeremiah, I see your hand raised next. Go for it. Yeah. Um, what do you, what do you look for in this, uh, these next 10 days off? Uh, what are the, what are the priorities that you're kind of looking at? This training, getting the guys back, you know, getting guys like Nico, Raul, Jimmy, you know, those guys back and getting Will a little bit fitter, um, you know, just getting the team together. It will work on individual stuff. There's not a lot of room for team tactics, Jeremiah, because we're really missing key pieces. Um, so basically it's just kind of a recovery week and just working on individual things. And then you know, the build up to Minnesota, we might do some tactical things, you know, just, you know, smaller group tactics leading up to that. So normal, normal, normal stuff. I mean, we've been to these international windows before where we've lost, you know, 10 or 11 guys. A reminder, if you have a question for head coach Brian Schmetzer, please hit the raise hand function button on Zoom. We will go over to Jada Evans next. Jada, go ahead. Thanks. Uh, Brian, I wanted to ask a little bit about the way that y'all started or the way that um, Austin started with a lot of pressure. It seemed, um, you know, a little bit like uh, Leon in, in facing that. So is, is that kind of the way that you assess that? And then um, just evaluation of the way you guys uh, handled that pressure early on. I thought we handled that pressure very well. We knew it was coming. Their coach had said it in the press. Um, you know, their expectation was they were going to look at or face a fatigue team. The way you fight off fatigue, Jada, is if you keep the ball from your opponent, you know, you rest with the ball. And so, again, after that first 10, 12 minutes, I thought you saw our team possess the ball in moments very, very well. The forwards that were trying to chase and press us higher up the field got tired. They started to get fatigued. And it was one of the reasons why we, 
you know, scored the goal in the first half was because I thought we had very, very good moments in our possession in the first half. Okay, we'll keep it on the first time questions, and I see there may be one or two follow ups, but for first time, there is Felipe. I see your hand raised. Please go ahead. Um, Coach Brian, uh, the, the first game or the game at, in Austin, the last game, uh, your lineup presented a, a few younger players, and looks like at this time you line up again a, a few younger players like. Jackson Reagan, Obed, and then uh, came um, the other guys. So what can you tell me about these uh, lineups that you are presenting where you include younger players and then with the mix with the uh, uh, senior players? Well, it's just, I mean, I, I don't exactly know how to answer that, Felipe. I mean, when the young players deserve to play, they're gonna play. When the senior players deserve to play, they're going to play. We're going to need everybody. You know, we've got Champions League games, and you got league play, then you have Open Cup, then you have, you know, other tournaments. Uh, you know, you have injuries through the course of the year. You have international issues. I mean, we're going to need everybody. So the young players have to step forward and help their teammates. The senior guys have to step forward and help their teammates, and the middle guys have to step forward and, and help their teammates. Thank you. Okay, uh, time for a few follow-ups. Nico, did you have one? I see your hand is still raised. Uh, yes, uh, two quick ones, Coach. Uh, one, Leo Chu seems to have uh, today one of the better performances I've seen him have, uh, both defensively and, and on the ball. I wanted to get your take on him. Uh, and. Uh, kind of regarding what Felipe had asked, you're in a unique position in where you have three very talented players, young players at the same position. Um, Josh and Obed have looked really good this season, but uh, Danny has kind of fallen in the, in the back burner a little bit. How do you manage that to make sure that the player is still, you know, ready and available and, and mentally okay with the way things go in that regard? Well, Danny's a mentally strong kid. I don't think you have to worry about him, Nico, at all. He'll get a game with the new league in defiance against RSL on the weekend. He'll get minutes in certain games. Yes, there's competition, but that's pro sports. You know, that's just the way it is. Um, as far as Leo Chu is concerned, very good performance. I thought his defending was good. You know, we all wished he would have put that chance away in the first half <laughs> but overall you saw you saw a lot of good things from leo chu which again you got to talk about young players if he plays like that he's going to push his way for more minutes okay jason mitchell i see you've got your hand raised and since you haven't gotten one in yet uh definitely want you to get one through go ahead and ask a question thanks man i appreciate it um coach this feels like uh, sort of a natural closing of the first major chapter of the season with the break coming up. How do you feel about where you're at compared to maybe where you would have hoped you'd be back in the preseason? Well, I mean, okay, maybe we could have said 2-2 had we been able to close this game out. Um, you know, what was our league record? Uh, Champions League so far has been good. I mean, I'd call it a success. I mean, it's hard. It's a hard league. Um, you know, if we learned anything from last year, yeah, you can start off well, but then you have to end well as, you know, at the same time you think about stuff like that. So for me, what I would tell you is that, again, we've missed some critical pieces for some extended periods of time. So this team, you've yet to see the, this team. I mean, Raul played a few, okay, a few minutes here and there. Nico, no, you know, Chu coming coming on, you know, Obed coming, how are we going to make rotations there? You know, uh, Nico asked me about, about uh, uh, Albert. I think Albert's been great, but has the whole team been together for an extended period of time? No, they haven't. So I think it's a little early to make any sort of determinations. All I know is that that team, those players in that locker room there have gutted out some, you know, good performances against some very good teams. You know, I, I'll, I'll give 
very a, a lot of credit to Josh Wolf. You know, he's made tremendous strides with Austin. Uh, that was a good team that we faced today. And we came away from home where, you know, it's hard to win away from home and came out with a point. So that for that for me is a success. Thanks, Coach. Jason, thanks. Jeremiah, I see you still got your hand up and you're the only one. So if you have a follow up, why don't you close us out? Yeah, I just wanted to get uh, your what you thought of Jackson Reagan's performance, especially these last two games where he's been in the middle of a defense that's had to, you know, weather some pretty, uh, pretty significant attacks, especially towards the end of games, just you know, what your assessment of him is and, and, you know, where he, he stands after, uh, you know, this a handful of performances. Well, he's been very, very good. I thought a lot of the possession in the first half was through Jackson's side, his ability to, you know, find passes in between the lines, uh, you know, the, the pace of his pass, his decision-making on where the ball is supposed to go, even in the smallest detail, like on the front foot of Alex Roldan, so he can, you know, progress the ball higher up the field, not to his left foot where he has to come back and be put under pressure. So there was a lot of good things with Jackson. You know, there was a couple moments in the second half where maybe he felt a little bit too comfortable, you know, and then, you know, we're watching the replay there on ring on that long throw in where he clanks it off the post. I mean, Jackson's got a release. He's got a kit in front of him. So there is a learning curve there, Jeremiah. But overall, he's way exceeded our expectations. And, you know, that's another name of a young player that you can throw into the mix is, is, is deserving of more minutes.